Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking shovel, sneebore shovel to be more specific. What is a sneebore shovel? Well, it's a shovel made in the Netherlands by a company called Sneebor. Uh, I will leave the links below with the proper spelling, and if I am mispronouncing the name, I do apologize. So, the like I said, the shovel is made uh, by hand in the Netherlands. It consists of a stainless steel, I don't know if you can hear that, stainless steel thick wide, uh, strong uh, digging head, a long straight um, ash handle, so again very strong and probably one of my favorite features, the T-handle top, so, which is very good for gripping. For those who care about the environment, um, again it's uh, raw ash when it, when it ships to you and I just coated mine in linseed oil which is lovely and a stainless steel head, there's no plastic whatsoever in this shovel, so which is a good thing. So. This shovel is designed to last years and years and years and years and years. And because of that, they charge a premium price. Also because it comes from the Netherlands and it's handmade. So they don't make 80 bajillion uh, shovels a year. They only make a certain quantity, whatever it is that they can mass produce in the time uh, that it takes. So the shovel has, a couple, has well, it's your basic shovel, uh, but it does have one unique feature which I really enjoy, which is probably one of the reasons why I did get it. It has these neat, nice uh, stepping cleats. I don't know if you can see that. Step on and just dig into the ground. So I'm not going to show you how to dig into the ground. I'm pretty sure all of you know how to do that. But again, this is the Sneebor shovel. If you were to get one shovel for your lifetime, this is the shovel you should get. Oh, I've owned this for about two years now. I've had no problems with it. The handle is very strong. If the handle does break, there are a couple of brass rivets. Um, which can be removed and a new handle can be put on and new rivets put in or bolts or whatever you want to attach it to. Sneebor, I do believe that they have a warranty program as well. Uh, I'll leave again, leave all the links below in the description. That's about it for today. This is a short garden review. Actually, I don't even like that title. It's not a garden review. It's a review, the review. Should I call this the review? I need a title for this segment thing that I'm doing. So please, um, leave a comment below as to what you think we should call the reviews that I do. So, and perhaps there will be a prize in there for you. Cool. I will leave links below for all of these and please like and subscribe this video. If you did like it, like it, then you hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, family that there's uh, this idiot on the internet who's making awful videos. So that's it. Short video. It's a shovel. It digs. It's a solid piece of equipment. I think it's worth every penny of it, especially if it's going to last a lifetime or more. And that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. I'm just giving my little review of the shovel and this is <clears throat> Let's try this again. Oh. oh me. And I will per pro <coughs> spring cold. That's all it is. Just spring cold. The God, this is awful. I am gonna have to macerate this so badly. <laughs>